Good evening. Tonight we're going to take a look at um, Magnolia Brewing Company's, um, gosh, I forgot what it's called already. I have a short attention span. Uh, Cypress Brown Ale. Uh, and so this is 3.7% um, alcohol by volume. Um, and I forgot the IBUs. So tonight I have this um, on the home tap, so it's like a fresh, fresh draft pour, which is pretty great. Okay, so um, let's see, let's look at the IBUs real quick, actually. Uh, <laughs> And my barbecue fire went out. Dang it. Uh, okay, so 15 IBUs. Super low IBUs, not a hoppy beer at all. Um, and, um, you know, really a malt profile. It's also at 3.7%, really a session ale. Um, so it's very mellow, sessionable, great for hot weather, which it is tonight. So cheers. Um, all right, aroma. This has hints of um, chocolate in it like dark chocolate, um, honey, almost a honey kind of sweetness to it. And I was going to say smoky, but that might actually be the barbecue and not, not my uh, beer. So I don't think it's smoky because I drank it last night and I don't remember it being smoky. But anyway, uh, color wise, it's pretty dark. Nope. Not really any light is coming through this. Um, and it does pour with a nice head and it dissipates, um, which we expect, uh, I think, for a brown ale. And uh, it's dark enough that I really can't see bubbles too much. Actually, it's uh, if I look hard and I'm not wearing my glasses. Um, if I look hard, um, it, it's kind of bubbly in there. All right, so let's get on to flavor. I feel like this beer has a, um, there's like a dirty knife in there, but anyway, um, squirrel. Okay. Anyway, this beer has like a, almost a smoky taste to it. And so I don't think that I was just smelling, um, the barbecue that I lit outside, but, um, like lightly smoky. I almost want to read up and see, um, you know, is it supposed to be smoky? Am I just, if I think of smoke a lot, I'm in the mood for smoke. I don't know. Um, description. Yeah, English style brown ale. Um, but, um, Anyway, it seems to have a smokiness to it, like an earthiness, almost. Um, and um, I'm getting a lot of toasty kind of chocolate. It's like a baby porter in that kind of, I always call it dusty. It reminds me of dustiness. It has like this, this, um... certain roasted value of the grain, I guess, and I can't, I'm sure if I could, like, taste each grain at each, at, you know, at each stage, I'd be able to identify it, um, what that flavor is that I'm tasting, um, and it's also in porters, just more so in porters, um, but this is, um, yeah, it has, like, this like secret chocolateness that happens in the back. Um, as a brown ale, you know, this is a very light ale, um, body wise and flavor wise. Um, it just looks dark because the malts are, um, are, um, uh, toasted longer, roasted longer. Um, and, um, you know, so it produces a darker color, 
um, but not necessarily a darker flavor, um, which is, I think brown ale is a good, if you're not really into dark beers, you feel like they're too intense, a brown ale is a good place to go um, and to give it a try. I feel like, oh, Schwartz beer actually, which is like a brown, um, uh, uh, black, no, I guess not a black lager. Um, oh, I just saw something for it the other day and it was a good description. I can't even think of what it was. Um, hmm, a dark lager. I can't, I can't think of what I was going to liken it to, but anyway, a dark lager beer. So you still get that light flavor, but this darker color. And then with it comes, you know, a slightly more intense flavor than a light beer might have, um, and slightly more body, but it's not like a meal in a glass that you get out of a stout, um, and a porter. Porters are actually pretty, pretty bold as well. Um, so brown ales in that respect are nice. Oftentimes they kind of, and as an English ale, it would have these kind of like herbal, earthy flavors to it in the hops. Um, and, um, you know, so it's, it's kind of mellow, um, all the way around. So very drinkable, especially at 3.7%, you can sip on it, um, sessionable. Good beer. Also, having beer on top is amazing, just as an aside. So, the Hopsy Home Tap is awesome. Um, come by and have a beer. All right, there you have it. Um, Magnolia Brewing Company, and they're in San Francisco. Um, Cypress Brown Ale. Uh, good beer, uh, low alcohol, but still... Um, a very drinkable uh, beer. So there you go. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good night.